in today, your friends. Welcome to a new edition of the IoT Friday. Today we are going to talk about how to fund your Internet of Things project. Mostly we are going to focus on hardware projects. And we are going to do it with the help of our a Smart Citizen Kit made by FabLab Barcelona that actually measures temperature, humidity, uh, CO, uh, other gases, um, noise, um, light. So yeah, it's a really nice project that was made on Kickstarter and it goes perfect and fits perfect on the topic that we are going to talk today at the IoT Friday. So let's going to see the cycle of ideas in, on the Internet of Things hardware. Mostly we have an idea, we prototype it, sometimes we use uh, Arduino or similar do-it-yourself platforms. We promote it on social networks or through websites. We sell it or pre-sell it, as we are going to see, go to China or somewhere else, manufacture it, and distribute it. So this is a normal cycle of probably any company that makes a, a product or a material product. And what's the difference with the Internet of Things? Uh, it's because the market is still uh, not very tangible. There is not a lot of investors investing money on this. So how can you fund a project like this? Uh, so. We have four different uh, kind of um, people or companies that can fund or can help you investing on, on your Internet of Things project. First of all, incubators and accelerators. So there is a, a big uh, new trend on accelerators made by Techstars or Highway First or similars in states that actually help um, Internet of Things companies and startups to, to accelerate their ideas. To, make a really nice prototypes and then go to China to finish the prototype and, and make it, manufacture it while, meanwhile, the company is promoting and pre-selling the, the device. Um, most of the incubators and accelerators work very well for companies who are on this prototype, idea, prototype and promotion uh, stage. Second is crowdfunding and pre-order. So, Sometimes you have a really cool idea and uh, some of the people are very excited about the project and you need to get a, a massive uh, amount of people to actually go to China and make it. So you use crowdfunding campaigns like Indiegogo or Kickstarter or local ones in your country. So they work very well and they actually validate if your product is going to be sellable or not. And uh, now it's it's changing a bit, so some companies are not going to these crowdfunding uh, campaigns or are more like pre-ordering um, on their website. That's also nice. So mostly the companies that are on these crowdfunding and, and, and pre-orders are companies who are actually promoting and starting to sell before going to manufacture the product uh, into whatever. And, then there are angel, business angels and VCs that are actually getting more and more into Internet of Things, mostly, mostly on early stage, etc., that are actually investing on any kind of, of stage here. So even yeah, ideas, I don't think so, but prototype or promotion, sell, and even manufacturing or selling. Finally, there are some companies who actually couldn't kind of help get any funding on any of this stage, but partnerships with big corporates, companies help them to actually uh, make the first prototypes and uh, this is very helpful because like telecoms or big companies can get involved into your product that's there is a bad thing into this um, funding um, option that it's that patents and intellectual property sometimes it's in the middle of nowhere or it gets into the big corporation that actually helps you to to make your thing connected so you have to take uh, into account that uh, sometimes patents are, uh, yeah, in China, you know, you, lo you lose all kind of patents that you have made. So, yeah, sometimes, uh, yeah, it's complicated to see how patents goes with this big corporate, etc. But anyway, so if you want to fund your Internet of Things project, you have several kind of different options for, in, for funding your project. And yeah, if you have any question or if you have experience on the area, please uh, leave a, a comment on, on the blog. And um, thanks, a smart citizen, and see you next IoT Friday. Bye. <laughs>